everyone, thanks for tuning in. So you are watching this video right here and you probably are wondering what is in this box. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Not, not terribly heavy. So is it a game? Is it a book? Hmm, I guess one way to find out is to open it next week. Nah, I'm kidding. Let's open it now. So let's go ahead and take out my handy dandy little knife. Cut this open. All right. What is it? What is it? What could it be? What could it be? Ooh. Let's go again. It's plastic bubbles. You knew it. Ha! Ah, actually, no, it's not plastic bubbles. Let's see what's beyond, beyond the bubbles. Oh, let's see. Wonder Book by DV Games. So I pre-ordered this uh, at uh, Gen Con. I pre-ordered it from Game Nerds because I really wanted the game, but they were selling it for $80 at their booth. Uh, and there was no way I could afford that at that time. I got this for less than 60 I believe. Just a little bit less than 60 like 59 something. Um, but yeah, so this book, or this book, this game, and a book intrigued me. So it says for ages 10 and up, for one to four players, plays about 90 minutes. So the, the thing that really intrigued me about it is that it's a storybook, pop-out storybook. And so I think my son, even though he's five, I can take him through this adventure. There's going to be a lot of reading I'm going to have to do for him and things like that. Uh, but just the whole concept of the game itself, the uh, the book and the pop-outs and the things that are going on, the story. It's like, you know, obviously this is like an adventure game, right? So let's go ahead and look at the bottom of this, like right here. Boom. Look at that. Look at that, it's got a 3D pop-out lizard that's got a, or maybe it's a dragon, I think it's a dragon. You pull out his tongue and things. It's, uh, the book opens up. I think even there's a monster on the inside of the tree. I think this is the monster that pops out. Uh, at Gen Con, they're like, well, we can't show you, but then it's like, people looking at the back of the box, like, oh, well, maybe it does show you on the box. They didn't want to reveal the monster, what it looked like at the end. They probably shouldn't put that there. But yeah, let's go ahead and pop this open. What do you think, huh? That's a beautiful artwork, look at that. The kid's got purple mohawk. Like some kind of samurai. So let's go ahead and look. All right. A nice matte finish on that. Get rid of that. A little picture in pictures. You can see me down there. Ooh, ooh, hi all. I've been really excited to get this game. I didn't think it was ever going to ship. Pre-ordered it. So that was September, September, October, October, November, November, December, December, January, January, October. So it took six months to get. Close to, right? So five to six months. Ooh, one silicone gel tab. Hmm. All right, so we have the uh, instructions here. Not much for instructions, right? It's pretty big, though. I think it would be okay if it was more pages, but uh, smaller. But I think this is doable. Everything is pretty self-explanatory there. Love these pop-outs here. Look, let's look at that. Mm, it's okay. Let's see if another right one hangs on. Let's try on these other ones. Not bad. Um, there we go. Ooh, I like the case in here. Nice. All right, so that off, that off to the side. Let's go ahead and zoom in. The book here. Ooh. Ooh, oh. I'm, I'm going to have to push that off to the side just because of, of what I've seen. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and pop this in. Be extra careful not to cut it. Yeah, I'm going to show my son this game after this video. Let him see what he, what he thinks of it. Ooh, treasure chest, huh? Nice. Gonna pop out in there. So I'm not gonna look at that. I'm gonna leave that to be a surprise for myself. Look at that thing. Like, let's let's go here. Now, obviously, it takes some magic <laughs> to get a pop out this big in, in something this small. Like, just to see this thing come to life. Look at this. Go 
it. Flip it around. This is, I think, this is where you start off at. This is part of the story here. And you actually flip it open this way. So, I don't know if it's supposed to go taller like that. Like it's supposed to do something. The story will instruct you. So I think this actually goes under here like this to help support it. So we have things that like that. And then it pops open to. Can I do it? Yeah, look at that. Oof, look at that thing. I think you pull this tab here to help. Yep. You pull that tab and it. The tree comes alive. What do you think of that? That, that is awesome. Right, I'm not going to reveal anything else because there are other little things that help hide in here. So let's see if I can't stuff those back in there to help hide it. Um, but it's like, I think that should be actually straighter. Like, I wonder if yeah, those are supposed to be glued together, it looks like. Um, I like, I wonder if that's supposed to be. That's supposed to be taller like that. So, it's like there's something that pops out here. Maybe I don't want to try it. But, and that folds away. That is marvelous. Marvelous, marvelous. That's awesome. All right, let's get into this here. All right. We have this that covers this. But first, I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up. See if there's anything secret underneath. Nope, nothing secret. Is it taped to the bottom? Nope, nothing. All right, sometimes you got to check. You know, you never know. So, we have these miniatures here. Looks like they're all the same creatures here, but then we have the different heroes here. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom down to check out these miniatures. All right, so the first thing we got is this baddie here. I'm not sure what this really is. Looks like some kind of plant creature. It's got some nasty teeth there, big old opening there, some horns. Uh, looks like it's got wood for hair or some kind of scales, not quite sure. Um, and then we got the heroes. So we have the boxer, it looks like, the fighter. It's got a boxer and boxing gloves there. So that's kind of cool. And we have this archer here. Look at that, nice curly hair. Nice archer. Then we got the samurai with a baseball bat. Yes, because we don't want to give a kid a sword, right? Then we have a mohawk guy with what looks like a laser cannon, possibly, or a giant squirt gun. Can't really tell what that is. So, all right, let's go ahead and look back in here. These can go back to where they were. So this kid goes there. This one goes maybe there this one's definitely gonna go there and this one possibly goes here yep and that's gonna go there all right so what do we got we got these little containers here so if we have uh an advertisement for these geek box huh comes with some geek box nice so like those we have a base like these things go on the bases i can't remember what they're called rings ring ba base rings something like that uh, we have gems, gemstones, more silicone. And also, we got the dice. Let's check out these dice. All right. Ooh, look at that! All X's. I don't know if that's good or bad. Try again. There we go. There's a good mix. So I'm not sure what our success is and what are not. I'm um, assuming the X's might not be. Looks like there's three there and then three of the others. Both. So pretty balanced dice. Nice. I have several different kinds of cards in here. So there's those. Ooh, I like, I like that. It allows you to push and pop out. Let's see here. Keep this card in front of you. Last hope, huh? Got some monster cards in there. Let's go ahead and try to. Let's see. We have.
have these things. It's got the tree on it. These would be, let's see here, uh, possibly the shred cards. These form the shred deck, it says. All right, so we have Last Hope, Foreboding, High Five, Rush. It's got special actions, uh, some text here, uh, Harsh Times, Free Will. Definitely that's kind of cool, I like that. And then we have these uh, worm cards. That's what they're calling them, worms. So it's maybe not bark, maybe there are scales. Um, we got horns, teeth, mouth, the body there. So I definitely, these are going to be easy to paint. I'll paint these. Uh, Dark Blast, Onslaught, Rise, Rise, Onslaught, and Ambush. Cool. All right, so these will go back here. And then we have all these different decks. So we have Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, uh, Chapter 4, Chapter 5, and Chapter 6. So I don't want to give anything away. So I will only open up the chapter one. So. All right. These are the. So we have the heroes here. Looks like Ken, Tina, Sid, and Laura. Laura, uh, heroes, the dead end. Uh, inside the tower, priorities, the dark vortex, and magic book. So I'm not sure what these are here. Some kind of setup supply. Huh. Let's see here. So it's definitely part of the chapter. Um, so the treasure chest only open when it's instructed. It's not saying what these cards are. So Ken, there's his card, obviously. So uh, I think this is how you set up. So there's shows you different things that get placed on the board there. Um, priorities, read the outcome or choice. So depending on what you choose, set up supply again. Okay, so that's basically all this is set up stuff. All right, then we have some more cards here. Keep this in front of you. Keep this in front of you. Goal fulfilled. Okay, so obviously there is a system to all this. So obviously they're gonna have a special attack during this uh, chapter here. That's what that I think believe that is uh, the chasm set up for that. Skim through the book. So there's different things that you're interacting with here is gonna take effect. So there's gonna be story arcs, looks like. So obviously there's the take the crown from the the pile of jewels over here on the board. So if someone does that, then you grab that card. Um, treasure chest. Open the treasure chest. Obviously, there is a treasure chest on this side. But how do you cross the chasm? So I guess there's a way because there's like there was a chasm card here that, that did that. We have search the skeleton again. There's a skeleton there. We have poke the hive. So we have some pretty good cards there. It tells you what your choices are. I think I like it. And obviously, there's some more. So I'm, I believe these are going to have to stay in order. So special rules. So there's that in the backs of them. It's just kind of like this with more information. So there's tons of information on this. That's why it says send it up. Practice all the reading. But I like the style of the artwork. Uh, definitely like that artwork. Uh, it's very heavy and story <laughs> driven, correct, right? I mean, like, just look at the actual book. Game, book, game, game, book, game, book. Because it is a game that is a book. So this goes this way. All right, so then we have one, two, three. So hey. hopefully you've enjoyed this unboxing. Again, this is the Wonder Book. Uh, gotta love this <laughs> this book. It's it's awesome. I mean, like, look at that. I mean, that is just, and then you pull this tab here. Like, obviously this has to come out as well, but then you pull this tab, and then a monster comes to life. That is awesome. So hey, thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time.